Hi everyone. So it's been a while since I've last done one of these videos, but I'm back and I'm here today to talk to you about the DJI Avata 2, which I have bought with my own money. And that means that any of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about is completely unadulterated, unaffected by DJI, and it's my opinion as an end user. So the first video I'm going to be doing is not so much a review about this because we've seen them all before and we pretty much know what the drone is about now, but I'm going to be talking about the Achilles heel issues that we had with the Avata 1 and whether they've been resolved with the Avata 2. And the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the fact that the Avata 1 had issues where if you do a flat spin, it'll suddenly drop a propeller and uh, or one propeller would stop spinning, it'll drop out of the air and you would crash. Now that was sort of resolved in a firmware update where in that kind of instance, it'll switch into normal mode because that issue only happened in manual mode. So it'll switch into normal mode and it'll recover itself, but that would still result in the drone dropping a few feet. And if you're close to the ground, you could still crash. So I'm gonna be looking at whether the Avata 2 has resolved that issue. In order to do that, I'm gonna have to fly it with the RC3 controller because the motion controller can only fly in normal and sports mode. And that issue doesn't happen in those modes. It'll only happen in manual mode. So for that, I'm using the DJI RC3 or remote controller three. And yeah, I'm gonna put this through its paces. Nice calm day today. I flew it yesterday in the wind and spoiler alert, it doesn't handle the wind any better than the Avata one, but I'll do another video about that. Um, today I'm gonna to be flying in these beautiful conditions here by the White Cliffs near Dover. And yep, see what we can get. So no more time wasting, let's get flying. Okay, let's get to it then. So I've got my camera angled to 33 degrees and I'm gonna start these over dry land because just in case it does something funky. Okay, so I'm gonna have full throttle-ish and then do a spat flim like this. There you go. So straight away, it's doing that weird thing. So again, there you go. So this might not be too apparent on the 4K footage um, because it's stabilized, but once I'll show some of the goggle footage and you can see how dramatic that sudden drop is. I mean, it's, I would say it's probably not as bad as the Avata 1 was. The Avata 1 was probably a bit more dramatic. Okay. Let this again. I'm going to be brave and try and demonstrate w what kind of flying style would bring this out in real life. So I've got a bolt there. I'm going to bring that tilt up a bit to go faster. Come on. So if I'm, say I'm flying past an object and then I spin around like that. There you go. Oh, <laughs> oh I just pooed my pants. Okay. So that's a perfect example of real life scenarios where you're going to turn the drone, try and catch your subject and that sort of thing happens. And you could see it actually dropped altitude quite a bit and it was unpleasant and I'm going to change my pants now. So that pretty much wraps it up and in a nutshell, yes, it does still drop a wing when you do flat spins, both fast and even medium speed ones. It'll basically just, it, it seems like one of the motors just stops spinning and it'll just drop for a moment. Um, in some cases, such as when I flew um, past the motorboat, it can be pretty dramatic and quite a squeaky bum moment. I thought I was going to crash at that point, fortunately didn't. With the exception of that time, generally it doesn't seem to drop as far as the Avata did. So the Avata, before they sort of temporarily fixed it with the firmware update, it would literally drop and crash. 
Um, once they fixed it, um, it would drop and then switch into normal or sports mode. With this, it doesn't seem to switch into sports mode or normal. It just drops a little bit, but it does still do that dropping thing. And that's a real bummer because it keeps you on your toes a lot when you're flying. It sort of makes you more reserved about the sort of maneuvers you're gonna do. But um, there we go, I'm hoping they can fix it. I'm really confident that this is just a tuning issue and something that they could fix. I don't think it's down to hardware. So it's not all doom and gloom. This drone is fantastic in many ways. It's been improved in pretty much every aspect apart from things like the flat spin um, uh, wing drop. Even that is improved in a sense in that it doesn't switch you out of manual mode and it doesn't drop as far. But yeah, many things of this are really improved. The camera is fantastic, the SD card accessibility, the ergonomics of it, uh, the battery pl placement, everything's just, this is a really good drone, but it's just a shame that they couldn't fix that one real Achilles heel of the Avata one. Hopefully they will. Maybe they'll listen to this video and have a look at their tunes. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. Um, remember to practice flat spins and practice them in a safe environment before you do them in risky environments like over water or not near to the ground. Until the next video, happy flying. I hope it stays calm and we can get some good days out. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.